So now the keel's been put together, what we need to do is start drilling some holes through that keel to attach it to the boat. Let's have a look. Hi, I'm Ben. And I'm MP. We love the ocean, so we decided to make it our home by buying a massive wooden schooner, which is unfortunately sinking. A lot of people believe our boat is doomed, but we refuse to settle on that thought, and we are willing to do whatever it takes to bring it back to its former glory. Join us on this refurbishing journey and wish us luck! So the keel has been aligned bit by bit and now these wedges are being taken out bit by bit so the boat slowly drops down as the wedge is hammered out. So then what's going to happen? The boat's going to rest on the keel. So every time these wedges get hit out, they get placed back in a tiny bit of space on top so that when the next wedges get hit out, the boat rests on the other ones. So there's always only one or two wedges that are loose and all the other ones are tight to keep the weight spread evenly. Sometimes they don't come out as easy. So in this area, the boat's just gonna be jacked up a bit because hammering these out, Two of them broke off. Normally that should help. And now the keel has been aligned. All that has to be done, well, all is we are lifting the keel with the boat to relieve weight from all these stacks and also the stacks that are holding the keel up so we can remove them and the ones under the keel little bit by little bit that's what the jack is for So the first bolt is going through the stem foot. The problem was the drill bit wasn't long enough to go all the way through. Next door is a welding company and all we did is pop by, weld a new piece onto the drill bit and there we go. So now we're ready to give it another go. The drill bit wouldn't fit under here to get through all of this. So it's going to go through the top of here, down, there, down, down, to meet the hole that's already been made, which is going up to here. So this is where all the action is happening. Also now this hole has been made, all that needs to be done is the bolt needs to be put through and tightened. That's going to squeeze all this together. So when all this is squeezed together, that can start making the first joint of the keel. Keel, stem and stem foot. And then we can start on the back, but this should be finished today.
Bicchieri. So those are going to be screwed either through the bottom of our boat if it's just going to be covering keel and frame or through the top of our um, top of our boat from the inside of the boat if it's going to cover the second keel which is a keel right above it that's going to run parallel to this keel that's going to hold the keel onto the frames onto this top keel okay so this is in here in Brazil, it's called Estopa. This is now being used to wrap around the screw, which is going to be put through the keel. This prevents any water potentially coming along this screw up into the boat. And you grab any paint that's just applied onto the screw so it doesn't rust. It's going to create a little protective layer. Proteção do fio. É. Parafuso. Não enferrujar. É. Cem anos. Cem anos. É? É. Não morre, não morre, não estraga. So if this, this paint and this style would last make the screw last a hundred years it makes it last a very long time being hit through the top of here on the other side of this wall this will peek through here like so then it will come under there it already is and the bolt will be put on the end so first it's going to get hammered all the way down so all the cotton you saw coming all the way down all the cotton will be repainted just to make sure none of it gets wasted. I'm gonna apply some more, hammer it back up through the top, or up to the top, and that will mean there will be a lot of wet paint, not paint that got wasted up there inside the wood. So there are now three bolts holding the stem foot, well one bolt holding the stem foot to the stem and two bolts holding the stem foot to the keel. We need, we're going to uh, fix the last bolt screw holding the stem foot to the keel before we start moving on to holding the keel to the frames and the keel to the sobrequilla which is a inboard an inside keel which is this piece of wood which goes from here 
probably the same length as the keel all the way to the back of the boat so some of the screws will just hold the keel into the frames but some of the screws will hold the keel go through the frames and through this as well So that's another project finished because now the keel was aligned these could all be tightened and bolted on so there are one two three four five bolts simply holding the stem foot well two onto the stem there's still another piece that has to be put onto here as you can tell and there are three bolts holding the stem foot into the keel where these wedges were put in here well i don't know if you can see there's two wedges one and two so that this distance increases when this distance increase it's not because this moved because it's massive it's because the stem foot got pushed into the keel more which allowed the bolts to be tightened even more so i think these are staying for a while now all that's left now is the rest of the keel where there is a joint, each joint crosses three frames. So the three frames closest to the joint are all gonna be screwed into the sobrequilia, the top keel, all right, through the frame. Then it's gonna be one no, one frame no, one frame yes, one frame no, one frame yes, until we get to the next joint. In this joint, there's gonna be another three, the three frames closest to the joint are going to be screwed onto the top keel. Then again, one no, one yes, one no. And then it's going to be another faff about, about where the bolts are going to go in for the back part, which is going to hold the prop shaft. So now you know how this is going to go. I'm curious to see how fast this will go, but these guys work like mad. So we'll see. So you know what a sobrequilla is, it's the Portuguese word for literally top keel. It is this piece of wood that runs all the way through the boat and is as long as the keel. What this is going to serve for is it's going to be holding our keel up. So they're under here now going to screw bolts, uh, put screws from the bottom of the keel all the way on top of this. So we are having some very small issues, maybe because of the shifting of the boat during the works. Our port diesel tank is now started leaking from the tank itself. So I think it's a crack where some wood has started pushing against the tank. So we're just trying to empty it into some gallons. We've emptied a lot already, but we need more empty gallons. So I'm busy emptying one of our emergency backup ones for the trip into our starboard tank, which is now shut off so we can use that to fill up well to empty the port tank so we'll let this empty and see if this will be enough we've always got a few more on the other side So 
in his boat. Every time you remove one piece of wood, we find more problems. What can you observe? Take your mask off now. There's no one in the area. What I can observe is that we don't have a bum. <laughs> Half a bum. What's this? Huh? Now we've got the whole team trying to put this back piece on. In Portuguese it's cadastro, which is the part that's holding the frame the back frames with the keel and also holds the prop shaft which has been removed. Now we just need to make sure it fits properly and make some necessary cuts if necessary and also it's going to need some wedges because wedges will lift it with more force than we can lift it. There is only one part of the keel that hasn't been lifted or fastened yet and that's the back. I don't know if you notice this piece is in place now so now the keel can be lifted. For now we will just lift it because the day is almost finished and tomorrow we can start with the bolts. And that will be the whole keel. The boys, okay, yeah, pronto. Keel will be finished. We can start working on the rest. Ah. Aí galera, diretamente do Brasil, aqui do estaleiro do Ramos do Toninho, hein? Aí o nosso amigo Ben aí, que é o proprietário da embarcação, pondo a mão na massa aí, ó. <risos> Screw is going in towards the back, which is pretty cool. So 
So here's something that you might have seen before in the videos, but it's something that I'm gonna explain again. So right under here, starting there and there, is where the keel joins together. Now this screw goes straight through the middle of the joint. We are going to add one more bolt screw there and one more there to reinforce the outsides of the joint to make it as strong as possible. off and getting even more naked. We've seen her bum, now we're gonna see the rest of her. Hey guys, we hope you enjoyed this episode. Finally, after overcoming a couple of challenges, our queue is finally mounted. So we're really, really happy about this episode. So yeah, our keel is done and that's like the backbone. Now we can start building upwards. We just wanna thank our patrons and our PayPal donations for supporting us. Thank you so much. So thank you, Noah. Thank you, William. Thanks, Isaac. Thank you, Philip. And Luca. Thank you, Matt. And Howard. I know I was not very present on this episode because I was very busy in the engine room, but soon we'll show more about it.